Hello, all my Coco Daisy friends. Julie Deal Mooney here today, and I am going to do a walkthrough of my setup for February, which is the denim and blush collection of Coco Daisy. And so let's get started. So the first thing, this pen case came in the kits this month. I really love that. And um, inside, um, one of these mod liners in this pretty periwinkly blue kind of color came with the kit. And so I just grabbed um, another mod liner that I had that was kind of in the color range. And then there has been a lot of discussion in my life lately about um, fountain pens. Just randomly here and there, people have been talking about fountain pens. So I went and pulled out my um, Lamy Safari and I put it in here because I'm, I might write with it. It writes very thick. Um, I think it's a fine. Um, I have an extra fine, but I don't really like that one. This one's really smooth. So anyway, I put it in here. It writes really thick. I'm not really sure whether I'm going to use it or not. Um, but it's there in case I want to use it. So I'm going to clip that back up. And so that's so cute. So I'm just going to put that in my pouch. And um, there wasn't a, a, a matching pouch in the kits this month. So I'm just going to use a pouch from an earlier month that coordinates. Um, so I am doing something different. I'm filming with my iPad right now because I wanted to show you my iPhone. And um, so I use my silhouette to cut the vellum out and put it on the back of my phone. And I did this in December and it still had like the December foil vellum. And so I just really liked this floral. Um, this may stay in my phone for a while. Um, but now that I have it on my phone, I put it on there last night. Now I want to um, go ahead and switch out the artwork here. And if you're not familiar with that, um, on the um, Coco Daisy Facebook page, if you look at the um, files, uh, Leah Riordan, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, um, always uploads um, image artwork for your phone. So there's one for the lock screen and then... Oh, let me turn it up so it'll recognize me. And then there's one for, I may have used the same one, but you can see the artwork for January um, is on here. So that is a great like added benefit. And okay, and then um, let's pull over some things that are still in progress. So um, every month I make a sticker folder. Some months, oh, there's something. Oh, it just brushed right off. Um, some months I just make them fold out, and then in December I made a trifold, and so I did that again for February. But I am going to use, I'm still not quite finished with the outside. I'm probably going to put that on the outside. I may trim it down some and use that as a little frame for it. So that's what's going to go on the outside, but I haven't done that yet. So, um, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out because a couple of people had asked, and I figure y'all can. You'll see it later in photos, probably. I don't know. I don't know that I ever photographed this part of it. So um, I did do, wow, it's so big it doesn't fit on the camera, um, a big pocket uh, folder, sticker pocket. And I also have a spot for notes. And um, so what I do is I keep my alpha stickers in this pocket so that I keep them separate from the other stickers because when I'm looking for an alpha sticker, I have a lot, I get a lot of stickers, and then I make stickers, and so I have a lot of stickers, and so I kind of like keeping the alpha separate because when I want an alpha, I just want to go grab an alpha. So I also have some of the um, glitter dots over here that I can just pull out, and um, yeah, so I did a process video on this. I have to edit it, and so as soon as I get that, I will upload this video first, and then once I get that video edited, I will upload it sometime between now and the beginning of February. So there's that. I am also working on, I have not used, these are the couple of things that I still want to use. So I haven't used these little um, embroidery. I could have put them in my pocket. And I was gonna do something with this glassine bag and I've got the little um, acetate thing to clip it in, and then I was gonna use it to keep um, die cuts in it, I think. Um, and I'm thinking that I'm stuck because I don't like this doily here. I don't know. 
I, I just kind of got in a place with it and I thought there's no reason for me to hold up my whole setup just because I'm waiting on this thing. And I was thinking that I might put this gorgeous pale herringbone vellum inside of it to kind of hide the, um, sorry, I dropped the embroidery thing. Um, and so I folded it so that the, you could still get it open. I folded it backwards instead of forwards. So yeah, and that's just the glassing bag that came with my Cocoa Daisy kit. So that's kind of where I am with that. I haven't quite, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Still working on it. Um, and I have this dashboard off to the side, but I'm not sure why. Um, so that's my little pile of keep working on. And I haven't, I haven't done yet. So the next thing is the um, zippered sticker pocket. And I clipped this little bow from the kit on it because that, the only other place I have to clip something is right here. And I think that might annoy me on a daily basis. So I take a piece of the plan. I took a piece of planner paper this month, the um, kind of um, blush colored herringbone. And I put it inside. And so um, you can see inside here. And um, I do just want to show you one thing that I did in here. Well, okay, I'll pull them all out. So, um, the day of the Capitol riots, I was just so stressed out, and I couldn't, I just needed something, or like right after that, I needed something to um, engage my mind and put it in neutral. And what does that for me is design. And so, if I go design something, I don't think about anything else. I think about colors, I think about drawing things, I think about, you know, it's like it, I can just put my brain in neutral. And so, um, for literally for two days, I did nothing but icons for my planner. Um, yeah, so, um, so I did them in four different colorways because I have four different weeks, so they are kind of different colors, but they're all exact, the sheets are all exactly the same. This one seems to have the most on it. So yeah, so I made all these icon stickers and um, this one is my favorite because it's my dog, Monty. And if you hear him snoring later on, I am, um, he's in the room. I usually lock him out, but I let him in today and he's already asleep. So um, he's deaf, so he can't even hear my voice. So I, I don't, I, I, but he likes to be where I am. So yes, I made icons for everything that I could totally imagine going on in my life. And um, so yeah, so that's what I did. So I've got those stickers in addition to the gorgeous Coco Daisy stickers. And I also make, someone asked me if this was a stamp, but um, recently, and I have some edits that I needed to do. I accidentally left Brooke's birthday on there and that was in December. And then I don't have a thing for my Audible bill that's due um so i had used i used all these because these are the ones for all my bills that are due oh look and i used almost all of these um but i forgot to put payday on there so i was just making notes for myself for next month what i what words i wanted to use but look i don't you love a used sticker sheet it just makes me happy so i'm not i'm just keeping that for the notes so yeah so that's my zipper sticker pocket okay i'll put that off to the side and here is my planner so I was trying so hard to use a blush colored planner. I have an Aura Estelle that's kind of a creamy beigey blush that I just thought would be perfect. And the thing I like about the Aura Estelle is it's an A5 wide, so it's almost this wide. So there's extra room over here. And I don't use wide inserts, but because my planner gets stuff so full, the wideness kind of helps out. But then someone on the Coco Daisy website, on the Facebook page, um, posted their traveler's notebook in this color and it looked so pretty with the kit and I was at work but I was like oh I think I have that planner at home so I went home and looked lo and behold I had this planner I've never used it before I had to take the cardboard out from you know that comes beside the rings so um this is a Webster's Pages and I think it's Periwinkle. And I bought it in one of those Webster Pages sales where you can get binders for 10 bucks a piece, which is why I didn't remember I had it. I think I bought four of them at one time. Um, and so if you are new to planning and you're looking for binders, get on the Webster's Pages um, email list because and the Carpe Diem because both of them have big sales. 
and especially Webster's pages. When they have sales, they have sales. So, um, all right, so here we go. I have babbled on enough. So, um, this little cutie right here, let me, oh, I didn't bring the other one in too. Look, I should have done that while it was like this. So I have this pretty felt flower from Fur and You, and it has a little thing on the back so that if you have like a, a one with a string around the middle, you could attach it to it. I just use it as a photo prop, really, quite frankly. And um, I had a periwinkle one as well, which I think is really pretty, but um, yeah. And then this is from Fur and You as well, this little dangle, which I think is so pretty. And Lisa, who um, Forsyth, who does Fur and You, is also on the design team for Coco Daisy. Just a little bit of insider information there. So I did, um, yeah, I, so when Lisa released all of the um, stuff for, uh, that coordinated with denim and blush on Fur and You, I kind of went crazy, so I got this. I had this one already, but I got this one and I got this little dangle, and um, yeah, I just love her felt flowers. They're so pretty, and I love what she uses. And like on this, there are these little tiny, I'm gonna zoom in closer, glass flowers. And so, um, yeah, it's really cute. She releases stuff a lot of times on Friday evenings. Um, so on Friday, sometimes I'll just randomly go to her website just to check and see if I've missed, because sometimes I don't read the emails and stuff. So, all right, so um, pockets, I used the uh, vellum from the uh, Valentine's kit, and then I cut one of the memory keeping papers. I just trimmed both of those with a punch, and I got a Sizzix from my neighbor, who, it was her mother's, and I think her mother passed away, and so she was selling a bunch of her mother's craft stuff, or she went into an assisted care living. I'm not really sure. It's not... Um, and so um, I bought a Sizzix. And then for Christmas, because I'm a woman of a certain age that needs nothing, I asked for a bunch of Sizzix dyes for Christmas because I don't need anything. So I got all kinds of dyes. So I just wanted to use them. And, and some of them were um, Valentine's because I was forward looking when I was asking for dyes. So there were a lot of hearts and um, so I got this little mason jar die, and so I used that. That'll be the first of two mason jars you'll see in this planner, because I'm just that basic. But um, I cut these little hearts out of, um, I had some copper metallic paper that I was going to use in this planner, and I got, the pocket was the last thing that I did, and I realized I hadn't used it, so I went and grabbed and cut a piece off, and um, you can see that's where I cut stuff out of. Um, so yeah, so made a little mason jar and um, I took the flare and instead of putting it on the clip that it normally goes on, oh, I see that the light's catching that, um, I just used some removable glue dots and stuck it down and I chose to stick it right here because one time, I'm just going to say, in Christine's video she says she uses glue dots and she's put them down on this part of her planner and never had a problem with it. I put something down on mine, down here on a white binder one time, and it was a Webster's Pages binder, and pulled it up, and it pulled up the the first layer, and so um, the binder's not totally usable. Now, at this point, I just have to cover that up, and so, but I could have not used a removable one. Not, I don't, I don't remember. So, I just shoved a bunch of stuff in here. Um, so, we've got fur and you felt things. Um, cute little Simon from the Valentine kit. Um, I made a few tags. I made a little tag and a big tag. Once again, the Sizzix dies that I got. And then I shoved in a little um, doily. And then this gorgeous one is from um, Pine and Peony on Etsy. So pretty. I love that bow. And um, I bought it to go with the September kit, and I was so pleased when I saw that it coordinated with this because I really thought it was too purple. But then I got it over here, and it wasn't, so I was like, yay. And I made this little teeny tiny bow out of, um, it's vellum, but it's like a thicker vellum, so it's not quite as see-through. Um, and <laughs> I feel like a broken record. I was trying out my Sizzix dies, and I have one that makes little bows. And so, um, yeah, I'm quite a fan of this thing. It's like, it's like it came out 20 years ago, and but I just got one, so I think it's it's fantastic. Um, 
it's not that I don't, I'm not ever going to use my silhouette again, because I did, I used it in here, but I really like this, is it, it, they, they balance each other out. So I always put a piece of um, acetate right here to protect this piece of paper right here from all, because like that little leaf right there is pokey, and it'll poke into the acetate, and generally I throw the acetate away at the end of the month. Um, another thing that I do, let's see if I can find where I put them. I always hide a couple, oops, I got off screen, a couple of refills um, up to the pen, just right behind one of the pieces of ephemera that are in the pocket, because even though I have um, refills in my pouch, sometimes when you're writing something, like if you're at a meeting or something, and then all of a sudden your pen dies, and you're like, oh my gosh, my pen just died, then I know I have a couple of clips right there. Um, I don't generally take this lovely little bundle of gorgeousness to any meetings that, you know, have men in them. But, um, I don't know, it's kind of known in, around the city. I work for a city government. And so, um, over the course of, of a while, most everybody kind of knows that I do this at this point. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so I use both the loose insert. So that's where this page is from and the, um, Daisy Dory booklet. And both in an A5 size. I trim down the Daisy Dory booklet in the middle and I punch them. So some of these pages are loose inserts. Some of them are um, the Daisy Dory trimmed up. So this is my first dashboard and um, I'm really liking how it came out. I use the puffy uh, heart stickers and um, this envelope was just an envelope that I have a box of about, I don't know, 250. Um, because I used to work for a stationary design store, and when they moved to another state, everything that was in the warehouse was just going to get thrown away. I mean, they were just going to throw away so much stuff. And so I have lots of ribbon because of that. I have lots of envelopes. It's been almost 10 years now, and so um, I'm slowly either using it, or if I'm not using it, after 10 years, I'm starting to get rid of it. So, um, but envelopes are kind of one of those things, like these are cute little, you know, I could always design a little invitation or a thank you note or something to go in it. And that's not unheard of in my world, so I'm keeping the envelopes. I did make this little liner. Um, I drew this pattern in December. Um, I think it, I, it might have been a replica of a Coco Daisy pattern, I can't remember. But I really like it, and um, so I, just change the color to the February colors and printed out a sheet of paper so that I could make a liner for this envelope. And used a couple of die cuts and that one was done. And then on the back, I did my woven washi. I'm so glad to have just a straight up floral month. Um, I truly love this um, foiled blush colored washi. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee because it's morning and it's coffee time. Cheers. Um, I made a tag with my Sizzix, made two little tags to go with it with my Sizzix, put a couple of die cuts on it, and then this little twine right here, feeling really good about that. That was the last of my twine that I had from the April um, Coco Daisy kit. So yay for using up your stash. That was the, like I had it on a card. I had There, were, there was a warm set and a cool set, and I'd already used up the warm set. I had that one little bit of blue, so yay. Um, so, um, this is from the Daisy Dory, and then this is just a sheet of paper here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but I didn't have anything to put there, so it's just sitting right there. It might just stay blank the whole month. Um, these are two of the new cards that are in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, and I just glued them back to back and punched them in. I just thought they were cute, and I love the you are enough just as you are statement, something I need to remember sometimes, so I just put it there. And then take time to make yourself happy. I just thought both of those were really cute. Okay, so this page <clears throat> is my currently page. So I printed, I found a printable for a library card because this paper back here has like paper and stuff on it. And I just thought that would be cute. Once again, made that with my Sizzix. These are die cuts from the kits and then a little bit of flower from Fur and You. 
And then for my goals page, I made a little piece of notebook paper, cut it out on my silhouette. And then there were all these stickers that um, acknowledge your own self-worth, be kind to yourself, love the person that you are becoming. I just thought those stickers were really nice and something that I needed to remember. And so I made those, I just chose to use those as my goals this month. And um, I cut some hexagons with my silhouette to offset it, used one of the floral die cuts and a couple of the die cuts that say be in the moment and be the reason someone smiles today. Because if that's not a goal, I mean like that should be like the overarching goal of all times. So, um, so cute. So just wanna say one of the reasons I love Fur and You is like the back of it is so cute. Like it's just so finished and so nice looking. So, um, excuse me. Okay. Sorry, my phone made a noise. It's weird because usually I put my phone on do not disturb while I'm filming because I'm using my phone to film. But um, not today. So anyway, um, I cut this heart with my Sizzix. And I may decorate it or I may just leave it like it is like this. But I just thought it was cute because you could. it already had the holes punched as part of the, um, the die. And I thought that was super cute. So here is the acetate that came with the planner classified, the classified planner kit. And um, it's really pretty. And so this is my prayer page. And so if I'm flipping through my book, I like having something that kind of covers that up. And because static electricity will make that stick together. And so I live in a small town. I don't want anybody reading my prayers because they may know somebody I'm praying for, and it might be something that the person that I'm praying for doesn't want to know. I try to be very brief in what I write down because I can remember what the prayer is for, but you know. So this is my monthly view. Um, I used a collection of Coco Daisy uh, stickers, uh, word stickers that I made. I made a little um, groundhog sticker. He's so cute. And I changed, well, I, I didn't draw him, I just, um, got him. I changed the color of his coat to match though. And then I have my little Monty stickers because that's the day Monty gets his flea treatment. And then that one is a doctor. I uh, have a eye appointment that day. Um, and so yeah, so I'm really liking um, my new stickers. And I had this genius idea that I'm already making stickers for my weekly layouts and all I have to do is sh shrink them down a little bit and I could use just reprint them and I could use them for my monthly page. So I've done that in the last couple of months. I think that's a genius idea too. I'm feeling really good about it. So this little bow came with the kit. It's the same color as the one that I have on my um, pocket folder. I'm thinking it either came, I'm thinking it came in the planner add-on kit, classified, one of those kits, I'm not sure. So um, this page I use as a um, project of the month. So for 2021. So I went back and um, for January, I had put away Christmas carefully and then I put done in light pink letters. And so I'm gonna do that for every month as I do the, the um, project. And so, um, yeah, February is a pretty easy one because, I mean, it's not easy to do, but it will have to be done because I'm doing it for a function and it has to be done, so. You know those will get done but I just put that in there because I didn't want to schedule another project for myself when I already had a bunch of crafty projects for uh, Mardi Gras so uh, and if you're fond of Mardi Gras this is 2021 the year of no parades so I have a shaker card here oh it's not an earthquake it's just me sorry be goofy um, I think I'm goofier in the morning and um, I used my Sizzix, so I had to figure out where to place these hearts, which was an interesting little mathematical sort of thing. So they may not be perfectly aligned because I only had one of the heart dies. And being new to dies, when I cut it, there was like this little metal piece on the die. And so when I cut the first one, the little metal piece that was still attached to the die made holes right here. And so I put that little love struck right there to cover it up. I think it's a good solution. So, um, and I just mixed together some um, stuff that I had. The lighter color ones, I'm just gonna tell you, are um, 
those little dots that people make art with, I don't know what they're called, I don't know what they're called. But they come in lots of different colors and they're relatively cheap and they're a cute sort of addition to uh, shakers if you like to make shakers. Another little bit I think I have in there is I have the Coco Daisy Glitter from, I think it was October of 2019. I still have some of that glitter. Like it's a little bag of glitter, but I just keep using it and there's still more. It's like it's multiplying in my, my thing. All right, so this page is a three-peat. This is the third time that I've done a dashboard that looks kind of like this. Um, the first two times I used circles and I thought, well, since it's um, February, I'll use hearts and see how that works. Um, I have a traveler's notebook memory keeping kit and I don't use the traveler's notebook. So I deconstruct it and I, I cut all the paper out with hearts out of that. And then I just used one of the die cuts up there that says you are some kind of wonderful and that made a really pretty page. So this is my list of stuff that I wanna get done for my planner. Um, I haven't finished, like, cut phone template I've done. Uh, social media I've done a couple of. There are a couple of things that I haven't finished yet, but as I'm filming this, it's the 21st of the month. So I have nine days before the month even starts up. So I have printed on these pages. I haven't done the clipping, glassing back. So this is just keeping me straight on what needs to be done. Um, oh yeah, and this, the Coco Daisy, uh, printable, um, I, I went to cut out the subscriber printable and my silhouette got all funky on me and I only cut out half and then it went crazy. So I'll probably, I'll probably do some of that too. So, um, I've gotten into kind of a system every month. I make swatches both on my inkjet and laser so that I can see the difference. So the numbers are slightly different between the two, like especially on this one, six, three, 35. I don't even know if you care about this stuff. So anyway, I make swatches that match the kit. I make them generally before I ever get the kit. Then when I get the kit, I look at them and adjust the colors, usually slightly. I'm, I'm usually close, but it's never exact. So I always have to adjust some of them. And my inkjet prints a little differently than my laser. So I have two different swatches, uh, sets of swatches. And um, so if I'm doing something and I am gonna print it on my laser, I use the laser swatches and, you know. So um, I also print pictures of the kit before I ever get the kit. At the point where I make the swatches, I print the pictures of the kit because at that time I start pouring over them um, I look at the different little pictures of the Daisy Dory. I pick which weeks I want to use for my weeks layouts. Um, I start looking and making lists of what items I want to use. Here we go. Um, just so that um, I am on the Coco Daisy design team, which means that I do get um, stuff for free or at reduced cost. And so... Um, I think I would do this. I think I did this before I was on the design team anyway. But like these kits are so pretty and they have such gorgeous stuff in them that I want to use it all. And if I'm not using it, it's because I haven't, um, sometimes because I forget that I have it because there's so much stuff that it kind of gets lost in the shuffle. So I don't want to, I don't want to not use anything. Sorry y'all, I'm talking a bunch. Um, I make patterns that match every week is different. And so um, I make patterns. Generally, the patterns are exactly the same if you look at them. Like this one is a diagonal stripe. This one's, you know, the patterns are the same. I just change the colorways on them. And um, once again, I have one for laser and one for inkjet just so that I can see if those, because I never know if I'm going to print my stickers on the inkjet or on the laser. It just kind of depends on where I am when I'm printing them. So... Um, that's just an extra sheet of paper if I need to write anything down. I will probably use that to start making my initial list for um, March. And then, so these are my um, sketches for what I wanted to do for this planner. So you can see I have my little February. And then on the back of that, I want my washi page. And then this one, I make a shaker. And then that was my version of repeating those hearts. Um, yeah, so I won't, I won't show you the rest of them because then it'll be, here's my, um, uh, currently in my goals page. So I kind of draw them out before I get started 
and um, and then this helps me to actually make it happen. So these are some photos. So like this was my inspiration for the um, envelope with the hearts coming out of it. So like I didn't come up with that. Um, this was one of my versions of the pages where I overlap the circles just to remind me that that's that's what I wanted to do and like just because I've done it before I wouldn't have remembered what I put it's a ribbon but I wouldn't have remembered I put a ribbon there or how I actually dealt with all of it this is a picture of a shaker card with six hearts so you know I went a different colorway with it um I thought I was going to use a binder where I was going to need to make my own pocket so I put a picture where I made my own pocket but when I decided to go with this binder, I didn't because I like the pocket setup on this. So yeah, so these are just pictures of inspiration that I found off of Pinterest. Um, I just go and wander and look. So um, this, <laughs> this was just me practicing my handwriting really because it was tasks that I could get done before I got the kit, but my kit came and I didn't get any of those done before I got my kit. So I just have extra, this is all just extra blank pages for me to do um, sketches for or something in the future. So my next dashboard is my love dashboard with my husband on it. Yay, George. Um, so I just trimmed some of the paper. I used one punch for all of my punching of paper this month. So it was all this little scallop. And um, I stamped it right here, and it says, if I had my life to do over again, I'd find you sooner so I could love you longer, which I think is the nicest, sweetest quote ever because this is a second marriage for both George and I. So um, we've been married for almost nine years. So, um, so yeah, and, and I love him to the ends of the earth, and so I like having a little love page dedicated to him. So this little felt uh, bow came with one of the kits. I cannot remember which one. And then on the back, so it, um, y'all, I talk too much. But anyway, um, so back here in my sketches, I'm gonna find them. I will find them. Okay, so I've done this before. I did a belly band down the middle and I did a um, little frame and then I put the pocket card on it. And it makes a really cute, easy dashboard. It's quick, it's easy, it's, you know, it's, you don't have to think about it too much because the Coco Daisy kit items all coordinate with one another. So when you put this together, it generally looks good because, you know, the stuff looks good to start with. So I got ready to do this and I just had all the, you know, I knew what I was gonna do, so I had all the pieces and parts kind of pulled. And then I just decided to move it in a different spot and it still looks good. And it's still an easy and quick dashboard. Flew, um, you know, I did, I cut the frame I and I decided that I wanted to do um, the rounded corners on it. I had already cut the belly band, so I put it a little lower, put a little die cut on it, cut a little inset there out of one of the papers and a couple of die cuts and boom dashboard done those are like like i don't know probably takes me like 15 minutes to do something like this because it's just i've got everything sitting there in front of me and all, all it is is figuring out where you're going to glue it down so i took the printables i think you can see this it's kind of hard because that other thing's there and i typed the word inbox on top of the printable and then I printed it on um, transparency paper. And so I just use that as my inbox. I'm going to take, and I'm probably gonna put, I could grab these right now and put them on there, um, a few of the notepad, note, sticky notes, so that when I have stuff that I wanna put, remind myself that I need to do or whatever, I can just stick it right there and I can stick it all around. So that's my little inbox page. And then um, I, Okay, so I, sometimes I can't sleep, I'll just tell you the truth. And so sometimes I wander around Pinterest, sometimes I wander around YouTube, but I'm wandering in these neighborhoods. So I was wandering around Pinterest and looking at old Coco Daisy, like old, like, I don't know how old. And I, I can't, I'm telling you, I didn't come up with this idea. So, um... I think it was Rio de Lara, and I'm thinking it might have been 2017 or 2016. I'm not sure. I I went looking at it. So you can look at old stuff on the Coco Daisy Pinterest board, and it has stuff that translates because 
they're still making these little stickers, which I don't use these stickers very often. And when I saw it, I was like, that's a great idea to make, you know, so I have a list of what needs to be cleaned, what groceries I need to put on our list, and what my, what, for me, meal plan means what options do I have to cook for dinner this week? That is really what that means. And then the bookmark itself was from the free printables. So, um, and then on the back, I just trimmed out the, a couple of, um, the, February pocket card and then a quote pocket card um, and I use the free printable from the email so I have to say Coco Daisy is the best company for giving you value-added stuff so there is a subscriber printable there is just a 10 page free printable there is um, an email you get if you if you sign up for their email list you get a printable sheet of paper that just is a sheet of paper so that was what this background is and this month it's the same as that vellum right there um so that's what i used for the back of this so the front was a printable and the back was a printable with a couple of cards so this is my weekly dashboard um and so i just chose to use i didn't use these stickers on my tabs this month I printed them out myself and so just because I had space on a sheet of sticker paper when I was doing it and I was like what can I put here so I put the tabs and then I can actually put what I use them for because there's not one that says finances so I just took these little stickers and I used them for my headers for here like I said meal plan is what can I cook for dinner tonight hello February is generally a list for my boss um, could be things that I need to get done I, you know, that way, hello, February, I can use it for whatever. Um, I have a hydrate. I used it for two days this month. I'm feeling really good. Like, two days is a record for me to track how much water I drink. Um, this is to track what my hours are at work. And then I just put a little piece of artwork there to fill out that bottom section. This is my first week of the month. And um, so I make my bookmark that coordinates every month. And I have a video on how to do that. So if you'd like to do that, um, look at my videos and you can find that. And so this week I went with all blues and here's my little groundhog sticker again. And so I'm just really loving now that I've made all these little icons that coordinate and I have them all um, color coordinated and I have them set up, not that you really even care about this, but I have them set up with global colors so that in two minutes, I can totally switch the colors to another set of colors. So, um, yeah, feeling good about that. So, liking how that all came out. Um, okay, these are things people generally ask about. I make these day of the week stickers to coordinate. I look at Coco Daisy's fonts. I try to kind of stay in the same genre as the fonts. It's not the exact same font. It just kind of has the same feel. So each month I try to look at what fonts they're using and I try to go with the same kind of feel for my stickers for my days of the week. So this is my everyday weekly spread. And then this is my um, planner social media kind of thing. So I made, I just printed this page. I mean, like I didn't print this stuff, but I printed all the words. These are the stickers from the, um, planner add-on kit and then these stickers are from Coco Daisy but these parts right here where it says prompt and where it says favorite high school club that sort of thing I just printed on the actual page and then the date up here um and, and just ran it through my printer so I messed up right there so I had to this was fave Pinterest boards and I didn't update it so um yeah so I just ran that through my printer and I don't have to put any stickers down because this this may be all that's on this page. I may not decorate that yet. You know, I've got this page over here that's pretty and decorated. And this is, I mean, this is pretty, don't get me wrong. But this is more for me to know if I, if it's Tuesday, I need to know what the prompt is. And then this is the um, February favorites, the journaling challenge. So I think that's fun. I've been thinking about my favorite high school clothing for a while. And let me tell you, I was in high school I graduated in 1982 and preppy was a thing so um, yeah yeah so I also print on these pages here I put the dates um, 
up here and I just print it. And then I have a today bookmark. I'm gonna put that bookmark off to the side. I'll pull it back later. Um, and so I do that for all of my daily pages. Someone asked me why I don't show my daily pages. Mostly because I don't think you really want to see me flip through it. I do have something already listed on my Wednesday. I try to go ahead if I have it and I know I need to I try to put it in there. So that's the last of the, and, uh, the daily pages I'm gonna show because the rest of them, I've only printed the first two weeks. So I've gotta go back and print the rest of them. But I do put Saturday and Sunday on one page rather than two pages. Um, just because I don't make lists on the weekends very often. Um, so this is my um, dashboard for the next week, and so I have to do a menu plan, and then hours and hydrating. And this was something I've never done before, but this page is so neutral, and I didn't have a hydrate sticker that was in this color frame, and I knew if I put one of the other ones, the color was just gonna be jarring, and it was gonna bother me. And so I just cut off the little top of the part that said hydrate, and so then that sticker is pretty neutral. So there you go, public service announcement. Okay, so this is my second week, and this one is what I would consider the kit colors, the blue, the peach, or blush, and um, yeah. So um, I made these stickers. I went back and looked at last year's um, planner, and these are kind of a, uh, Valentine's take on the ones that had a star from September so yeah so and then I just made little heart stickers for the days of the week to go with them So there we go and I think that one might have been a printable sticker and then this is the um, my social media page and I use these stickers from the planner classified kit and I accidentally print, printed this page upside down. So if you look closely right there, you can see it said fave right there because one of these things where it said fave, probably down here, printed on this sticker. So I took some undo, pulled all the stickers up. I had an extra sheet to print it on and I, um, I just put that down even though it's got that stuff on it. I don't think it's that noticeable. So, um, so yeah, and then, um, these little things. I love these new stickers that Coco Daisy's doing. I love, they've been making some changes in their stickers and I just want to say I love them. And um, I'm not saying that because I'm on the design team. I'm saying that because I love them. Um, I feel like every time they make a change in the stickers, I'm like, well, that was a good idea. Um, so these are very cute. Um, I have the Daisy add-on stickers and they had some stickers that kind of look like this. So those are just a really cute idea, like little banners. Um, so it worked once again. I just printed these are stickers, but I printed everything else um, So that's all my blank daily pages. I have not even put the dates in on these yet this was from um, Last Valentine's Valentine's uh, 2020 kit All right, uh, the third week. Oh y'all be still my beating heart. I love these kind of neutral and like people that have like these minimal planners that are in the these color ranges I'm just like oh my gosh that's beautiful um i would be so bored with a minimal planner like i think they're so gorgeous i i won't pay enough attention to them like i need to be doing stuff in my planner so that i pay attention to what's going on so um yeah so ooh, that's just so pretty i love those colors so, um, yeah, so I just clipped all this together. It's just dailies and we get to the, oh, so this week, oh, I haven't even done my social media spread for these last two weeks. So this week, um, I didn't like the page that was there. It wasn't like a typical page. So I just glued it together. So I don't even have a dashboard for this week. So if I need to write things down, I'll write them down on a piece of paper somewhere, you know, somewhere. Um, so this is my dashboard for the last week. And I have the classic sticker kit and the planner sticker kit and the Daisy add-on sticker kit. So that's what I use, kind of a conglomeration of all three of those to create my um, pages. And then I do make um, like clipboard stickers specifically to match the week um, because I'm so fussy about the color range. Like I'll use Coco Daisy stickers for my weekly spreads if they match. Um, you know, if there's some in them, but it's, it's not like I'm going to get five clipboards 
that match each week because they're just not that many clipboards. So I use those in different spots. Um, so this is my last week of February. I'm sorry my dog is um, snoring. And this was a clip from Fur and You from last year sometime. So yeah, he's happy. He's very happy. Um, <clears throat> so this was a redo. I have done this page maybe twice. I'm not sure. I know I did it in November. Yes, I have done it twice. So this is a three do as well. Um, I did it in November with leaves in the mason jar when we had the leaves that had the um, foil on the edges. And um, so I just took this little tag. I think that came in the Valentine's kit. This is washi that I just folded on itself and tied it in a bow, but it got all smushy, but that's fine. Um, and then I put a, a transparent sticker on the um, tag, and that just made, made a really cute sort of thing. And um, when I was doing it, I dropped one of the um, hearts, and I just found it this morning. I mean, literally, that was days ago. My craft room is such a mess right now. So, um, yeah, I looked down, and I saw it in a, in a bin. So... Um, I don't know. I think the dog's loud snoring woke him up because he just stood up, so maybe he'll stop. Um, and this is a redo as well. So um, I had this thought this month that, you know, I'm not Michelangelo, and this is not the Sistine Chapel, and that's okay. I'm not, like, putting myself down. Um, I love doing my creative stuff. It makes me happy. Um, I don't think one person's creative stuff is any better or less than another person's. But my point of that, sorry to go off on a rant, is that this is a planner and I'm gonna use it this month and then I'm never probably gonna look at it again. I may film a video walkthrough of the whole year, but that's about it. I'm really not ever gonna look at it again. So if I do a page that I like, I'm gonna do it again because, and I'm probably not gonna do it every month, but like this hexagon page, I love this. I love pages that have all of the different papers from Coco Daisy because they all coordinate so well. And if there's a paper that it's not that I don't love it, but it's not fitting in my color range of what I want my planner to be, this is a good spot for it. So while I'm not I, while I'm not as likely to use this paper or this paper in this kit, I love it on this page because it gives. Then I get to see it. Um, but like what, as I'm doing pages like this, my color range has typically been blues and peaches. I'm kind of sticking in the blues and peaches range for everything that I've done, except for these pages like this. So I love those spaces where I get to use um, all the different papers and they all coordinate so cutely. And then love is your superpower, so cute. Okay, so this is the one that was just a total, total mess up. So um, the idea was that I was gonna put the dashboard here, well, the one that the dashboard that I made here, and then I was gonna put this all you need is love from the dashboard kit on the back of it but I was just working and not thinking and I punched it this way so the one for the dashboard kit went on the front and the one that I did see how close this love is to because this was supposed to be punched over here and I was gonna move I I still had the ability to move uh, these hearts and the string at the point where I punched it and so I this was just gonna sit a little further over and it was gonna get punched here I didn't, but I stamped that right there. Woohoo, go stamping. I'm not very good at stamping, and so, you know, um, and then when I punched it, I was looking at the other side, and I was like, oh my gosh, did I punch into it? I didn't, but it's very close. It's closer than I would want it to be, so, um, but I love the dashboard so that they come, and if you need a dashboard, you just put that down, and you're good and done. Um, yeah, because see, this is here, and then I was going to use this for my notes page. It was all coordinated, that it was all going to go together. Um, and so this is from the pr free printable. I've just printed a few of these pages. Um, my printer has a thing where you can flip it, so I flip it so I have two different sides of the page. Um, and then I will also put some regular blank pages in there as well. But So... Um, these big tags came in, I think the memory keep classified kit, not sure. So over Christmas, um, well, let me go here. I made this little, um, 
I don't know what you call that thing. Tassel. I made that one. I think I have a video on how to do that as well if you're interested. It's pretty easy. Um, so I took these three tags and I trimmed them off and then I just overlapped them. And this one said February on it, but I had to cut off part of February to make it the right size. Otherwise it was gonna stick out too far. Um, so I took this February card and replaced that. And I had thought that I might decorate them more, but I kind of liked it once I got it done. Um, I always do a kind of wider page right at the back just to kind of designate, okay, this is where my yearly stuff goes. Um, and it kind of hides if I'm, I shove papers in this sometimes, so it kind of hides all the ugly back there. And I just took these tags and I stapled a little piece of ribbon on each of them. And I was very happy at how that came out. Um, that was from my Wandering on Pinterest as well. I have done that again. I've done that before. Um, Rhea Delara was the one also, again, was the inspiration for that. And so, um, she did it in a traveler's notebook. I'm not even exactly sure how she did hers, but, um, but I like that idea. So when there are tags in the kit, I like having this little divider that sticks out with the tags. And then I just put a dashboard on the back. Um, you can see where the little uh, ribbon is sticking through right there, but that didn't really bother me. I, I just went on. So um, these are my four planning months, and I made these myself. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description um, if you'd like to print them out yourself. Uh, they're made for an A5, and that's the only size I made. Um, but I wanted lines on my dates, and I wanted the week listed, and I wanted a Monday start. These were my non-negotiables, and I couldn't find it, so I made it myself. So I just write in pencil back here. This is not very neat. It's not very, I mean, you know, it's not ugly or anything. But it's just, um, uh, it's very basic and very, just keeping everything written down and doing it so that I can erase it. And so, um, so yeah, so that's my, my planner. Let's get to the very end. We'll go through, see, I still have, and then I have this. It's plasticky, but it's really smooth feeling from Filofax. Every time you buy a Filofax binder, they give you one of these things. And I use these for stickers sometimes. I use them for um, eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. I'll fold them in half and stick them in here. So I have my nonprofit um, piece of paper if I go buy something for work and I need to not pay tax on it, my tax exempt thing. Um, so those sorts of things. I don't have anything in it right now because they're all still in my January binder. And it's not very pretty and you don't want to see my folded up pieces of junk. So the last but not least is the gorgeous pen. I love this pen. It is got a little sparkle to it in the middle and a little shine on the barrel and rose gold hardware. So it's very pretty. So that is my setup for uh, February with the Denim and Blush Cocoa, and da Cocoa Daisy Kits. And I appreciate that you came to watch and you watched it all the way to the bitter end. So thank you very much. Uh, click the like button if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't and the notifications if you want to be notified when I make a video. Thanks so much everybody and have a great day. Bye-bye.